countdown for blast off. X minus five, four, three, two, X minus one, fire. From far horizons of the unknown come transcribed tales of new dimensions in time and space. These are the stories of the future. Adventures in which you'll live in a million could be years on a thousand maybe worlds. The National Broadcasting Company, in cooperation with Street and Smith, publishers of Astounding Science Fiction, presents X minus one. They had been in space six months now, moving with the incredibly faster than light speed of the overdrive. In six months, they had gone from Earth outward and outward to the crab-like nebula with twin stars, a routine flight of exploration and scientific research. Solid object, about 90,000 miles away, sir. Located, Dort. Exactly. Identify it. A small object, sir. Captain, I've never seen anything like this before. Whatever it is out there, it's coming towards us at incredible speed and retreating to zero just as rapidly. What's the mass of the object, Dort? Well, it varies with the distance from us, sir. Set up the scanners. <whistles> Nothing, sir. Absolutely nothing shows out there. And yet, there must be something, sir. Those alarms are foolproof. Action stations. Man all weapons. Condition of extreme alert in all departments immediately. Captain, what is it? Dort. I ran into the same thing once before on the Earth-Mars run. We were being located by another ship and their locator beam was the same frequency as ours. Every time it hit, it registered as something solid and monstrous. Captain, we're the only sh Earth ship in 18 light years around. How? I didn't say it was another Earth ship out there, Dort. Space? That's right. There's a spaceship out there, all right. But it's not manned by human beings. It had been contemplated and speculated on. Mathematically, it was almost a certainty that uh, such a race existed. But in 18,000 Earth years, no human spaceship had ever encountered them. Now the situation was precipitated and somewhere outside the Earth vessel. There was an alien race. Of what shape? What reality? What quality? Of what psychology? It's moving, sir. Heading right for us. At that speed, we'll be in touch in 10 minutes. Heading right for us, huh? Hmm. Just what we do if a strange ship appeared in our hunting grounds. Friendly? Well, maybe. We'll try to contact them. We have to do that. But friendly? Thank the Lord for the blasters. They may not be hostile, sir. Well, they may be. That's what I'm paid for. Put on this job for to worry about the troubles that may never happen. To all hands, now hear this. A ship is approaching, manned by an alien race. I'll give the signal for attack or defense, if it be necessary. There will be no move made unless I give the order. I do not wish to provoke trouble. Stand by. The ship is slowing down, sir. It's stopped. Weapons Department, report. Weapons Department, report. Alien ship remarked. Target fixed. Weapons alert. Communications department, report. Communications department, report. We're receiving a modulated shortwave, sir. Frequency modulated. Apparently a signal. 
Not enough power to do us any harm. Well, try to make some sense out of it. Report any progress to me immediately. One thing in their favor, sir. They didn't attack immediately without question. They're trying to establish contact. That seems to indicate they're reasonable. We'll see. We'll see. What are they doing now? Can you make out the locator screen? Bring that power up. They're, they're doing something now, sir. There's a section of the hall opening. Probably an airlock, sir. If they breathe air... They're letting something out. It's, it's round. A bomb, sir? Unknown object released from alien ship. Observed by weapons department and targeted. Stand by. See what they're doing, sir. They've left the object out there. Right where they were. And now they're withdrawing the ship. There's no reason that object couldn't be a bomb, Mr. Dort. Intend to let us think precisely as you're thinking right now. I just have a hunch, sir. I think they're friendly. I think whatever it is out there is a means of communication. You're probably right, but I won't gamble the ship on a probability. Sir, I'd like to volunteer to go out there and look that thing over. You understand whoever does examine it is expendable. Yes, sir. Requisition a lifeboat. If it's all right with you, sir, I'd prefer just a suit with a drive in it. It's smaller, and the arms and legs won't make me look like a bomb. <laughs> and I'll carry a scanner, sir. You may leave when you're ready. Thank you, sir. I'm all ready. Clear the lock and let me out. Weapons department reporting to the captain. Mr. Dort located. Mr. Dort is targeted. Stand by. If that object out there is a device to capture one of our people for observation and questioning, it'll be blown out of existence, including Mr. Dort. Stand by. Mr. Dort. Mr. Dort, report. Object, as you can see on the scanner, sir, is covered with many small horns, like the detonating horns of the obsolete mines, formerly used in naval warfare. Is that their purpose, do you assume, Mr. Dort? I'm going to find out, sir. I'm going to grab one. Mr. Dort. I'm here, sir. I don't think this is a mine. Circle it so we can see it completely through your scanner. Deadlock, sir. Nothing to report that the scanner hasn't shown you. Oh, wait a minute, sir. A section of the outer hall seems to be opening. Do you see it? Very good, Dort. Hold that. I'm sure it's a communications device, sir. Looks like it. Fix your scanner so it'll focus on that communications device. Return to the ship. Communications department. Communications department. Progress report, please. We've established communications, sir. Is there a psychologist on the team down there with you? Yes, sir. Dr. Burns is working with us. Will both of you please report to the bridge at once? You look tired, Dort. Sir, we've established fairly satisfactory communication, sir. They seem to have high developed thought patterns. We, we got a satisfactory translation from the machine on the fourth attempt. We can say almost anything we want to say to each other now. Of course, how much of that they tell us is true, we have no way of knowing. Dr. Burns, you're the psychologist. What do you think? Well, to be quite honest, I don't know, sir. 
They seem to be completely direct. They haven't let slip even a hint of tenseness we know exists. They act as if the setting up a means of communications for friendly conversation, but where there's an overturn that might be... Yeah. Well, Dr. Burns, I have a decision to make. On the one hand, opening contact with the friendly people of a vastly different culture could only be beneficial to us of Earth. But on the other hand, if they're hostile, I ought to blast them out of existence without any pr other preliminaries. Oh, but sir, you can't. I'm not talking to you, Dort. Uh, it's not warranted yet, sir. Yes. <clears throat> now hear this, all departments, Hear this, all departments. The ship is on an extended alert. Provisions will be made so that personnel can have maximum rest and nourishment. Communication continued by means of the artificial language set up between the Earthmen and the aliens, decoded by the mechanical decoders. Dort disobeyed orders. He lived on powerful stimulants so that he could stay with the communications machine, talking, talking talking to the aliens.